There. You doing good? Crying? You sleeping? Eating? Nope, me neither. Cool. Oh my goodness, you guys. What a power hour all the Swifties are in. Hi. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm Lauren. If you're new here, you're probably not. Maybe you are new here. Hello. Hi. I cover all things pop culture. A lot of Taylor Swift. This whole, my life right now, I am a tortured poet. We are tortured Swifties. I can't believe we got it right. The double album. This is something that, in case you are new here, I've been talking about this since the Lover era. Very unabashedly. Did I use that word right? I don't know. It just came to me, so I wanted to use it. Correct me, I could be wrong. I was convinced the Lover album was gonna be a double. Haha, <laughs> it wasn't. The look on my face last night at 2 a.m. while I was editing my reaction that just went live on YouTube was basically no effing way, Taylor. How did you do this? And then two, do you sleep? Because you sure don't care about our sleep. Just kidding. So freaking exciting. I did, what's funny is in my reaction on YouTube, that just went live, please go watch it. Um, I was thinking to myself, I was like 16. 16 tracks and just like four bonuses? That seems a little short. You slinking out on us, Taylor? And then she literally said, hold my beer. No, no. Guys, I cannot wait to dive into this. I've been avoiding the spoilers as best as I can, could, whatever grammar. I did also just upload a little like chatty video of all of my thoughts prior to this video. So like the moment that I finished, I was just gonna call it season one. It is kind of like season one of the tortured poets. I finished season one and here, those were my thoughts. I documented them. I posted that video and now rolling up my non sleeves, got my dirty wine glass from last night. It's time to listen to season two, the anthology. If this is your first time here, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you leave this video a like. Your likes and comments on any of my or any YouTubers videos, if it's a reaction video especially, mean a lot because we do not get paid for these videos. We do this because I, I love this. I love doing this. Yeah, in case you didn't know, it's a fun, free, easy way to support your favorite YouTubers. This is not a giant ad. Let's get into this. Speaking of a giant ad though, I do have a Patreon where a two hour reaction to season one <laughs> went live earlier today. Guys, I wanna hop right in because it's, um, I'm trying to go by the sunlight here in Colorado. It just started to snow, so the lighting's gonna change, but we love that. Feel like I'm in just like a blackout Taylor Swift world right now. Let's do it. Track 17 the black dog. Hold please. Guys, I'm not really a white wine girl, which hello, she mentioned white wine in the last video and I was, or season one, and I was drinking white wine, which if you are new, is very uncharacteristic for me. <sighs> Let's get into this. All is quiet. I am ready to take on the black dog. Let's go. I am someone who until recent Events you share your secrets with and turn it off. Oh, don't do that. So I watched as you bark all the black dog uh -oh. and pierce new holes in my heart. You forgot to turn it off. Oh, it's just like the episode of Love is Blind. I can't believe I'm pausing to say this, but in case you didn't watch this season of Love is Blind, I did cover that on my YouTube channel. The Apple location, who, who are, who's dumb enough to share your location with a significant other and forget? What? Heart, you forgot to turn it off And it hits me Understand Oh, her voice How you don't miss me in the black dog When someone plays the starting of this song That was intertwined in the magic fabric of you're lying. You're lying. She's talking about Joe. She has to be. Did he cheat? I have to stop myself because season one, that's what I'm just gonna call it from this whole video. Season one of the Tortured Poets, every song I was like, oh, this is Joe, and that's Joe, and this is Joe, and then I finally edited it back, and I was like, no, Maddie, 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 Travis, Maddie, Joe. Okay, so even though I say Joe now, that's where my mind goes, but the black dog, for some reason, sounds like a British pub. I have not seen any spoilers. I could be wrong. I hope I'm right. Proceeded to play him until I believed it too. A brave man. Yeah, no, I wouldn't call him that. He kills me. I wouldn't call him that. How you don't miss me. He does. 
And remember how my rain soaked body was shaking. Do you hate me? Was it hate? old habits die? Scream. Oh, those are the lyrics. Weeks, six weeks. I still miss the smoke. Oh. Have to pause six weeks of breathing clean air. One, another reference to six, her six year relationship. Two, clean. The drought was the very worst when the flowers that we'd grown together died of thirst. I know, like I'm clean, oh my God. And then, but for her to say, I still miss the smoke, pretty sure she's saying that Joe is a pot smoker. I don't think that she would miss Maddie Healy this much. That's why I think this song is about Joe, but please feel free, engage with my video, and correct me if I'm wrong. I gotta stop being so honest with you guys, it's coming off desperate. Sorry. Esoteric means something is obscure and only understood or intended to be understood by a small number of people with special knowledge. So niche. Esoteric means niche. Okay, there's your lesson, in case you didn't know. Oh, I wanna sell my house and sit far to all my Oh, like the house that they bought. And Almost bought. Wow. Even if I die, okay. He's gonna hear it. He's gonna hear it. <laughs> That's for sure, Taylor. labored breath just gave me. Ooh. I will say this is also the perfect album to listen to while it's like pouring down snow right now in Colorado. <sighs> this is the second time, I think only the second time that she's referred to Joe. Well, okay, I'm saying everything's about Joe, but it could be Maddie. I feel like she called him a tattooed golden retriever in season one, but maybe that was a song about Maddie Healy. I don't know, I'm not gonna sit there and blah, 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 but I think it's interesting that whoever she's talking about in this one, I think this one is Joe. She's relating him to a dog again. So whatever, there's no way that this isn't about Joe. They're talking about their house, the house that she lives together, a pub that, yeah, that's what I think. Damn, all right. So in terms of going right from Clarabo into the black dog, we are, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna get you back with no spaces in between it, like lowercase. This is niche. This is an esoteric thing that I'm gonna tell you guys using the vocab that we all just learned together. Have any of you guys ever heard of the band Never Shout Never? If you haven't, look them up, listen to, oh God, I hope that they don't have anything new. I'm talking about their old, old stuff. Go to Spotify, look up the band, the, the artist Never Shout Never, go to his single in 2009, um, your biggest fan, Trouble, Did It Hurt, but he has a song called Cheater, Cheater, Best Friend Eater, and it is all lowercase, and this is just kind of what it reminded me of. I'm sure Taylor doesn't know who this band. Well, maybe, but that's that's immediately where my mind goes of I'm gonna get you back, and it's all lowercase. It just sounds like an early 2009 thing when, we're, when we were texting on T9. Comment down below if you know what T9 is. Track 18, I'm gonna get you back is how I'm saying it, because it's all lowercase. Ooh. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry. Did she just say something? Did she say, yeah? I have to know. I do. She's saying something else besides yeah. It sounds like editor chopped. Like short skirt, the one that fits me like skin. Uh oh, she's got a lot of short skirts. She loves her short skirts. Did your research, you know the price going in. Oh, hell yeah, Taylor. That's the one thing, honey. I can tell when somebody still wants me. Come clean, <gasps> standing at the bar like something's funny. Then... Fix your face. 
Whether I'm gonna be your wife or gonna smash up your white guy. Haven't decided yet, Ooh. but I'm gonna get you back. Whether I'm gonna turn undecided yet, but I'm gonna get you back. talking about when you if you've ever been in an on again off again relationship it's like oh, someone told this to me forever ago when I was in college going through this awful breakup it took me eight times to dump this guy someone said it to me best of getting back with an ex is like reading the pages of your favorite book but the ending always stays the same I wish I had a microphone to drop it because I still love that so very much. But of the like, I'll make you want to think twice. This is a great song. about showering together the I, I kind of thought it when she said I can feel it coming honey in the way you move but then for her to say even if it's handcuffed come on I'm not gonna say it for the children watching parents watching with your children I'm sorry I'm sorry I had I didn't say it first Taylor did okay <laughs> you know what I love it she's 34 sing about what you want sing about your feelings she's not appeasing to the empaths in Viper's clothing she was talking about us, by the way. She was talking about everyone on Twitter being like, how could you date him? And she was like, screw you. I do what I want. Stop. Rant ended. Back in. You got somebody, I'll say I got someone too. Even if it's handcuffed, I'm leaving here with you. Gonna smash up your bike. Oh my god. Haven't decided yet. Oh. But I'm gonna get I'm sorry, I really like this part and I was talking over it. This sounds like a song that you need to listen to with headphones or in the car. What was that like? Bum bum. Oh my god, I love the acoustic part. Gonna smash up your bike. I haven't decided yet. Whether I'm gonna curse you out or take you back to my house. I haven't decided yet. But I'm gonna get you. This song gets stars. I like this a lot. Ooh! Grand. Grand! I love it. That was like sexy without being too sexy. And a lot of people probably missed the handcuffs line, just being like, oh, like handcuffed because you were so in love with them. Uh-uh. That is not what she was saying, in my opinion. I love it. That's great. Oh, I like that. I wonder why it's all lowercase. What does that mean? That has to mean something. All lowercase, all together, no spaces. I don't know. I don't know. All right, the albatross. One of the variants. It's a bird. I saw some rumors that I can't, I have not confirmed this, that apparently, and this sounds like a little fake, but maybe it's real. Tell me if I'm wrong, if there's any bird people out there. Apparently, the albatross's 
they first take they, they take their first flight for six years before they touch the ground again. I don't know if I believe that. That sounds like a load of Swifty Tumblr, if I've ever heard some. Anyways, the albatross. Let's do it. Wise men on set while candle rose by and the other name is a scandal. Just they tried to warn him about her. Oh yeah? Cross your thoughts. Oh, this is what everyone says about Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. One bad sea kills the garden, one less tendress. Oh. Dagger to sharpen. The lyric. Only thicker annoys you. She's the albatross. She is here to destroy you. Cross your heart and hope to die, right? Is, is that what she's trying to say here? It is actually so helpful to have the lyrics up just when I need them, but I don't like to read it because then I don't get the song. But like if I don't understand something, I just go boop boop. That's what it looks like I'm doing. She's the albatross. Like, I mean, is she saying like, I'm the big bird on campus? Because you are. People warned you about me? Yeah. Everyone's gonna, don't hurt her. She's gonna write a song about you. You know what? It might make you more famous, okay? Only Maybe don't hurt her in the first place. How about? when she sings about herself in third person because I just can't. There's no one else on earth like Taylor Swift, right? Hater, lover, that is a fact. There is no one else on this planet that is like Taylor Swift. If we want to get cheesy, I could say, well, there's no one else on this planet that's like you or like me, but it's a different, <laughs> it's a different realm. That's my lame, it's my lame guy voice. <laughs> Hello? All right, moving on to track 20. Chloe or Sam or Sophia or Marcus? I don't, I don't know who these people are. Well, let's find out together. Your hologram stumbled into my apartment Hands in the hair of somebody in dark Sam or Sophia or Marcus and I Just fools and you saw my bones out with somebody new Was seen school and you just watch it happen I have to hear that verse again because that sounds like a Travis reference. Your hologram stumbled into my apartment. Hologram, like you're looking at someone on a phone, like you're looking at their social media. Like, are you stalking them on social media? Hands in the hair. That's what that sounds like. Did I get that right? Your hologram stumbled into my apartment is that she's like, you know, I somehow ended up stalking my ex or my ex crush. Hands, your hands are in the hair of somebody in darkness? Oh God. And I just watched it happen as the decade would play us for fools. Ooh, this sounds like Maddie Healy. I watched all the songs about Maddie. He must have really hurt her, damn. And you saw my bones who seems like he would bully you in school? Marcus and I just watched it happen. Fools, and you saw my bones out with somebody. Also, wait. Chloe, Sam, or Sophia, or Marcus. For some reason that gives me the vibes that whoever she's talking about is into both girls and guys. A little bisexual moment. We love that. She's never really, uh, I guess boys and boys and girls and girls. She's brought that up before, but we love a little bit of representation. But the queer community loves that actually. Let's go. <laughs> it seemed like he would have bullied you in school and you watch it happen. If you want to break my cold, cold. You were. 
remind me of this sounds like a John Mayer song but she swears that she's artsy come on that sounds just like this My world apart, just say you've wandered. you said some things that I can't unabsorb you needed me but you needed drugs more and I couldn't watch it happen I changed into goddesses This is not Maddie Healy. Wait, wait, what? Am I going crazy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Too impaired by my youth to know what to do. Down to that passage in time, back to the moment. Cold, cold heart. Oh, I gotta, I gotta keep going. Why am I thinking that? Is it just because the song sounds like it? Everyone on Twitter is gonna think I'm insane. Rick's too, too impaired by my youth to know what to do. So if I sell my apartment and you have some kids with your memory fade from this scarlet maroon Like it never happened, could it? Can we watch our phantoms like watching wild horses? Cooler in theory, but not if you force it to be together that long wait I gotta do some research oh everyone who's already watched this video edit am I insane oh my god I don't think I've ever been as delirious and as exhausted as I am right now I need to show you what my filming setup looks like right now I just reacted I paused my reaction to this to go react to the Fortnite music video it was really good I'm just it's like the second that I stopped like if I'm like go 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 I'm like great this is amazing new music and then the second that I stopped, reality set in that I am not a robot and that I have to eat and sleep. <laughs> I think I've had cottage cheese today and that's about it. And wine. Let's not forget. Woo! Okay. Couple more tracks. We can do it, guys. We can do it. Because I don't have time to film tomorrow. This is it. This is me. Look out, because here I come. That's where we're at. Also, the more wine that I drink, the redder my cheeks get. So that's just... I'm so delirious in a good way, but like, I know you Swifties know what I mean. Imagine listening to this album and dissecting it, but filming yourself with makeup and lights and editing and broken hands. It's fun. I, I love that it's like a little yearbook when I get to look back on all my stuff, but like right now I'm in it. <sighs> Track 21. Oh, I forgot to tell you that um, no one agrees with me online at all that Chloe or Sam or Sophia or Marcus could be about John Mayer, but I'm gonna say it on Twitter anyways, and I'm, I will deal with the hate, but it just, for some reason, it sounds like the song Comfortable by John Mayer. I don't know why I should be writing about John Mayer at this day and age, but she talked about a decade and her youth. Moving on, that's for another video for another time. Track 21. How did it end? I can't believe I'm still doing this. This is crazy. Oh. But is it a Joe song because it's piano heavy? I bet it is. Wow. We hereby conduct this postmortem. Post a hot house to my outdoorsman. That's cute. Our melodies and so a touch that was my birthright became foreign. The empathetic hunger descends tell no one except all of our friends. Tell we no one. must know how did it end? Aww. 
tell no one except all of our friends. Yeah, I don't think we're ever gonna find out, right? Mm. We were blind to unforeseen circumstances, steps to different dances, and fell victim to an lover's glances. Lost the game of chance. What are the chances? That lyric. So they'll go home to their husbands, smug because they know they can trust him. So this is a reference to gossip, to like when, oh, oh my god, that's sad, that's sad, that's sad. Come one, come all, it's happening again. Taylor Swift is breaking up with another boyfriend, like what did she do, is the rhetoric that usually comes when you hear, oh, Taylor Swift can't keep a boyfriend, like that horrible, horrible thing. So, but like, I guess, okay, we hereby conduct this post-mortem. Damn, she's smart. That was the whole thing that the treasure hunt of the words on Apple Music of like, oh, we conduct this po post-mortem. And a post-mortem is like when you launch a project and you go, okay, what do we do right? What do we do wrong? The way that it's like the empathetic hunger descends where it's like, oh, or like people are gossiping. Like you think that they're the, your friends or whatever. They go, oh no, what happened? I'm so sorry. Do you want to talk about it? Are you okay? Tell me what happened. Like, ugh. He was the worst, like you didn't deserve him anyway. And just like kind of like that weird talk of just like, oh, you don't have to talk about it, but like talk about it. Tell me what happens so that I can tell people. It's like that like gossipy thing. I mean, maybe she's talking about people in her real life, like circles, but maybe she, that's a part of it. But I also obviously think she's talking about the world, us, me right now saying this, us, all of us, like trying to figure out what happened, how did it end? Soon they'll go home to their husbands, smug because they know they can, trust him and then they'll call their cousins their friends and be like oh my gosh did you hear what happened can you believe that the chorus is like a line out of a gossipy girl's mouth right guess who we ran into at the shops oh my gosh you will never believe didn't you hear they called it off they called it off like what happened tell me what happened i have to know damn she's good like we're surprised Sounds like, like a, I get the vision of dying. Sitting in a tree, K I S S I N G D Y I N. I just said dying right before that. That's on camera. That happened. I feel like it was obvious though. Sitting in a tree, D Y I N G. It's happening again. How did it end? I can't pretend to understand. I still don't know how it ended. Oh my God, Taylor. That was beautiful. Just a giant double album of breakup poetry. Okay, next one, So High School. I hope this one's poppy. Sounds like it could be right by the title. Instead of feeling exhausted and talking about it, I'm gonna stop and just be grateful that right now in this moment, Lauren Lippman has 10 more brand new Taylor Swift songs that I've never heard before. I love that feeling, having new Taylor music in the world. I talk about that all the time. <sighs> Woo, let's go. Track 22, So High School. Ooh. Sounds like School of Rock. Is this 
Travis. Is this Travis? I gotta have lyrics in front of me for this one. This is a Travis song. I hope it is, right? I mean, she's literally like the cheerleader on the bleachers, the football. Okay. You know the reference I'm trying to make. sexy line I'm not even gonna go back and explain it your friends are I'm just gonna I'm just gonna repeat it just to for emphasis but I'm not gonna explain it because I can't get demonetized well first of all the guy that she brings up American Pie I feel like ugh, that was just like a coming-of-age movie that's like one of my favorite all-time movies it's just like there's a lot of talk about sex in that movie and it's amazing I love that movie so much your friends are around so be quiet I trying to stifle my size write that down that is beautiful oh, I can't believe she's writing music about Travis already ah! I gotta heard that song <sighs> okay obsessed with so high school amazing Ugh. this might be like an overshare but like when Matt and I first started dating we always had this joke that like 
When you do, when you fall in love, like, especially in the very beginning parts, you're like, I, I made this joke, Matt and I would make these jokes, which is like, oh my gosh, we're like, just like teenagers. Like, we're teenagers. Like, ugh. so high school, and she said, bittersweet 16. I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for her. I wonder what's gonna happen. For everyone that's like, Taylor's gonna get married and have babies right away. Pump the brakes, yo. Relax. They've got a lot of dating and a lot of life living together to do. So relax. Just, I'm very happy to hear that she's so happy. All right. Track 23, I hate it here. Hmm? Quick, quick. What are these? Is, is that just Aaron counting them in? Quick, yeah, I guess quick, it is. awful, like you are a poet, trapped inside the body of a finance guy. Okay, I need, I need the lyrics in front of me. I can already tell. My brain is mush. Okay, third, third time's a charm. Quick, quick, tell me something awful Like you are a poet Die Tell me all your secrets All you'll ever be is My eternal consolation prize oh. You see I was a day in another life But now I seem to be scared to go outside oh, If comfort drops Interesting melody. I go to secret gardens in my mind. People need a key to get to. The only one is mine. I read about it in a book when I was up. No midside city hopes and small town fears. Hated me. Oh my god. I hate it here. She's talking about her level of fame. But Us. The play world. A game we can live in instead of this. I'd say the 1830s that all the races and getting married off for the highest good. Down, cause it wasn't fun now. Seems like it was never even fun back then. <sighs> Nostalgia is a mind trick. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? I'm lonely, but I'm good. I'm bitter, but I swear I'm fine. Uh, to hear her talk about her level of fame. I mean, we've heard it over and over again in this album. It's, I mean, it's brilliant poetry. It's brilliant lyricism. It's just, it's so sad. It's so sad. Here, so I will go to secret gardens in my mind. People need a key to get to this mind. I read about it. Guys, now I seem to be scared to go outside. I think of that scene in, is it Miss Americana? When she's like, yeah, I realize that that's not normal. That when I go from my home into a car, there's a big, it's a big, big deal. Like, you guys, I, it wouldn't surprise me if when she has kids one day, if she like hid them from the world and like didn't want them. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can do that when you're that level of fame. She's like, She's literally American royalty. That's what it is. It's American royalty. Do you have somewhere to be? Okay. King Harley rules this household. Wow, I'm so excited to see what you guys are saying on Twitter. I'm, it's just like, there's so many. 
I'm seeing this thing online where everyone's like, so are you exhausted too? It's like, we're like, she's telling us so much, so much about herself and her life and her feelings and her day to day. Like we think it's a lot for us to process. Imagine living it. Imagine that. It's true though, Jesus. No mid-sized city hopes and small town fears. I'm there most of the year. Oh my God, I hope that Travis can help like make you feel a little more normal. The one that I'm most excited for. Track 24, track 24. Thank you. Is it Ali or is it Amy? No, if it's an I, it's Amy. What's capitalized in thank you, Amy? K I. M. Kimberly Kardashian. I am so excited to see what she's got to say. I love it. I people are some people are like, oh my gosh, don't you think she's like over it by now? No, dude. No. She put her in like one of the worst places in her life. Like back then TikTok didn't exist and YouTube it was like YouTube and Twitter. That that was like the the places to be and Tumblr. Shout out. But like to have hundreds of thousands of millions of people like wishing that you were dead and like telling you and like not just telling you but like you're trying to go to your phone trying to escape and it pops up as a notification like oh my god i'm very excited okay let's do it track 24 thank you amy what are you gonna say oh i like it already when i picture my hometown there's a bronze spray tan statue of you <laughs> and a plaque underneath it stares at our school and it was always the same see you but i dreamed that one day i could say all that time you were throwing punches i was building something and i can't forgive the way you made me feel scream you ate me to the night sky as the blood did she just bleep her own self then Well, it doesn't kill you, makes you stronger, girl. I was building something. Ah! Fair fight. No, it wasn't. Or a clean kill. Wait, 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 wait. It wasn't a fair fight. I brought a knife to a gunfight. You took the crown, but I'm all right. But it was all right. Doom, 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 doom. And it wasn't a fair fight. No, because it came wide. Stomped across my grave. Ah! <laughs> wait, wait, her grave. <laughs> Schoberg. Honey, I rose up from the dead. I do it all the time. Oh my god. I love the references to pass up. This sounds a little country. This is great. And then she wrote headlines in the local paper laughing at each baby step I take. Say, see pain. Kim continued to like. But I pray that one day all that time you were throwing punches I was building. say that oh my god did you guys know that kim kardashian's son is named saint In your mind, you never be my spirit black and blue. Much, much. And so I changed your name and any real defining clues. One day, your kid comes home singing a song that only us two is gonna know is about you. What? 
what is that lyric? Guys, all of the young Kardashian girls, I don't know their names, North is Kim's daughter, they love Taylor Swift. They dressed up as her for Halloween. What is that line? I don't think you've changed much, and so I changed your name and any real defining clues, but then she capitalized it. The title, oh my God. One day your kid comes home singing a song that only we know is gonna be about you. She could be singing about this song. She could be singing about any song from Reputation. Oh my God, this is why we can't have nice things. Oh my God, Taylor, this is a bop. <laughs> All only us two is gonna know is about you. Oh, I love it. bet you $50 that Kris Jenner, the marketing machine, is going to figure out a way to spin this in a positive way for Kim because honestly, yeah, sure, she's Kim Kardashian, but she's been like losing like steam over the years. Kylie Jenner is like the new it hot girl that everyone's interested in. I love Kylie Jenner. I have a feeling that like what, we're gonna see like a Kim host SNL and she's gonna make a joke of like, yeah, Taylor Swift wrote a song about me. Mark my words, that's going to happen because imagine the text messages that she's receiving. I mean, you saw that thing that I posted on my Insta story, right, about John Stamos. <laughs> and Josh Gad, go follow me on Instagram. I'll make a TTPD highlight of this weekend because this is just wild. I'm sure it'll be on the TV show. I just, yeah, you know what? Fine, take it, Kim, whatever. We will have this song and others forever. <laughs> <laughs> the way you made me heal. Petty Swift. I do. I do. Parts of my brain sometimes are like, ugh, is it a little bit much? But no, no, I don't think so. She said some really horrible things and then Kim kept going and then she made it a whole segment on her TV show. No, no, I'm not gonna allow that. My husband's a good man. Is he? Your ex-husband? Who's a Nazi? Is he a good man? Yeah, I'm happy about that song. Get it. Track 25, I look in people's windows. This is it, all right guys, we got, we can do this. The last couple tracks. Ooh. Ooh, that was beautiful. What is that sound? I love that sound of guitar so much. I had died the tiniest death, catching your breath. Oh, 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 oh. The tiny. Oh, I found that I'd so, 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 so. I'm afflicted by the night, no answer. I look in people's windows, nice. What? I look in people's windows. If your eyes looked up and met mine one more time. So I immediately thought, I look in people's windows. I, I don't know if I'm correct yet. I'm trying very hard to not look at the, the rest of the lyrics, but I just thought of like wondering what it's like to be normal. I look in other people's windows, like a little peek of what's it like to be normal? You can just go to Target. You can just go to the mall. You can get on a plane and stand in a line at TSA. When is the last time that Taylor Swift stood in a line? Actually, what am I saying? There's, um, Footage of her going through customs in Brazil or something like that. And she'd like take off her mask and be like, yep, I'm Taylor Swift. That's what I thought of. Ooh, that sound is beautiful. Faces on the streets. Know me. I'm addicted to the if only. Did you see me guess that? I guess that. Short song. 
I attend Christmas parties from outside. Ugh, I look in, okay, so the metaphor that I get from I look in people's windows is just another thing of how she feels alone. She's staring at the world happening around her from the outside. She's standing in the snow, watching a Christmas party happen on social media from far away because she knows that she can't do things like that. I mean, she did go to the, the Kansas City Chiefs thing or whatever, but it's like, does it feel all right to not know me? I'm addicted to the if only. If only I wasn't famous. God, she's good, man. Interesting. Okay, track 26, The Prophecy. Obviously, as a Potter person, I immediately think of Harry Potter. Let's see what it is. I caught lightning in a bottle. Oh, but it's gone again. I always go to Calvin Harris when I hear that. It's probably not. Got cursed like Eve got bitten. Oh, was it punishment? Pat around when I get home. I guess a lesser woman would have lost hope. The prophecy, the one money, just someone who wants my company. Let it be too about if they can redo the prophecy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I got cursed like Eve got bitten. Pad around when I get home? Is that like, is she referring to like a dog again? A greater woman wouldn't beg. I don't want money, I just want someone who wants my company. Let it once be me, ugh. To be as large as Taylor Swift and to go through a breakup. Guys, right now, think of your last breakup or friend breakup or you got fired, you got dumped, some, you got in a really bad fight with a family member. Like that horrible, I'm gonna use her word, that horrible wretched feeling inside of you that you're like, I just wanna be around people. I just wanna forget it. I just wanna be distracted. And then imagine being like, I can't just call up my roommate down the hall or, or like I have to be very strategic about who I can talk to who I can tell things to because Carly Kloss, because other people that are around are just gonna like go feed it to the media because they make so much money if you can get a tidbit from anyone that knows Taylor Swift. Like, I can't imagine that like lonely feeling. Anytime any of my girlfriends go through a breakup, I like, I show up with soup, wine, we hang out, we watch shows. I don't know, I, 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 ho I, I hope that she has that in some people. I think that she does, but again, we don't know anything. We don't know anything. Speak to about if they can read. Is she literally saying like redo the prophecy? Like I would like to not be this famous if I could. Please. That would be great. See cards on the table, mind play out like fools in a fable. Oh it was sinking in. Ripped hand oh still a dream of him. Poison blood. And I look unstable, gathered with a cover. A greater woman has faith, but even statues crumble if they're made to wait. There's the line. Sealed my fate, no sign of soulmates. I'm just a paper waiting. It'll be okay. Oh my God. About if they can be the prophecy to to change the prophecy. Wow. But it's gone again. But I looked to the sky and said, Okay, I have regrouped, I have recovered. Let's talk about Cassandra. Cassandra? Cassandra? Track 27. I was in my new house placing daydreams Patching up the crack along the Cause that's where I was when I got the call What call? When the first stone's thrown, they're screaming It's burned the witch, they're shrieking When the truth comes out, it's quiet It's like a witch hunt? First, cause she feared the worst and tried to tell it sound. So they filled my cell with snakes. I regret makes you aware. Oh. 
Is she still talking? Is this still a Kim song? Maybe? I patched up the cool wall I pass an endless track of what I'm saying So they killed Cassandra first Cause she feared the worst They tried to tell the town So they filled my cell with snakes yeah. I regret to say Do you believe? Snakes Kim, Kanye maybe? I was on to something What's funny is the way that this song is going is how I thought the whole album season one was going to sound like I thought all of tortured poets department was going to sound just like Cassandra It's so quiet Ooh, her voice Oh, I love the way that she ends songs. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Filled my cell with snakes. Trapped her in there. Just like a witch hunt. They're burning all the witches even if you aren't one. Okay. Track 28. Peter. Everyone on social media is talking about how this is Peter losing Wendy. Ah. Okay. Track 28. Peter. <laughs> when they first hung out. Is she calling Maddie Lost Boys or is this just like an in general? You, Peter. Because then that would mean Peter losing Wendy. Oof. Who sits by the window has turned out the light. He said you were gonna grow up then you were gonna come find me then you were gonna come find me said you were gonna grow up he said you were gonna grow up how much
much of an effect Maddie Healy had on her. And honestly, I feel like there's some like Maddie 1975 um, fans getting mad online. He's never been as famous as he is today. It's true. The 1975 uh, European fans are going to be pissed at me, but you cannot say that the 1975 is as famous as Taylor Swift. Now, Maddie Healy is on Joe Alwyn level, Jake Gyllenhaal level. People in countries that are not familiar with the 1975 are going to know the name Maddie Healy, so. Getting that payroll, like she said in that song. Okay, okay, okay. The Bolter, the very next track. Honestly, all I ever think of when I hear this name is that picture, I don't know if it was like a meme that went around, but it was like Joe, dragging Taylor into the car, hiding from the paparazzi, like then people were like, LOL, the bolter. Like, I thought that was very funny. Last three songs. Track 29. I feel like I've been filming for three days, basically. Preparing thumbnails for this weekend, it's been insane. Okay, 29, the bolter. By all accounts, she almost And I can confirm she made a curious child ever reviled by with a quiet bewitching face splendidly selfish charmingly helpless excellent fun till you get to know her huh. behind her back her best mates laughed and they nicknamed her the bolter the kids oh we must stop beating like this but it always ends up with a town car speeding about no idea it could be around her it could be about anything storytelling someone she knows but it's like someone who lives a very cautious life and runs at any sign of danger or vulnerability basically is what I'm getting. it's a good tune wonder who she's talking about, she talked about herself, seems like some very specific things, but then again, we just know that she's a good storyteller, don't we? I liked it. I mean, the way that she talked about anxiety was kind of beautiful. When she was leaving, it felt like breathing, just like, oh, okay, okay, I'm safe, I'm safe now, right? That's the imagery that I got. Last two tracks, guys. Track 30, Robin. It's pretty. If it's piano, could be about Joe. I don't know. <laughs> Long may you reign your bloodthirsty oh. out window. Utter nonsense, you have no idea. Levers sewed down, clocks tethered. 
Showmanship, strings tied to lever, like a cautious, precarious situation. Oh, her voice. someone and who is this someone? child safe from the world? Who's Robin? Huh. Maybe it's one of her close friend's kid's names? That was sweet. It, it kind of weirdly gave me like Ronin vibes, talking about dinosaurs. I don't know what I was thinking at the beginning. Long may you reign. Strings tied to levers. Slow down clocks tethered. Like people say when you have kids, like it just slows time down. Oh, technically they say it like speeds it up, but like they say when you have kids, it makes you like really slow down, takes you out of yourself and you kind of just like enjoy the like little things, like little things that make a kid smile. And you're like, let's go to the zoo today. And just like watching them see like a zebra for the first time. And it just kind of was like, oh my God. And all this like showman shit that reminds me of like my friends with kids. Long may you roar at your dinosaurs. Okay. Wow. Guys, it's been a long journey. It's been a long weekend. The Swifty fandom is exhausted. We are fattened and fed with the amount that Taylor has been feeding us. And I have finally made it to the last track of the double album. I swear to God, if she drops a triple album at 2 a.m., <laughs> she's not going to, but at this point, I just feel like I'm delirious. I am, I truly am. All right, y'all, squad. Let's do it together. Track 31, The Manuscript. It is a bonus track. We knew that this existed in the world. Now, for the first time, I'm going to listen to it. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> 31, that's a lot of tracks, girl. I'm ready, I'm ready. of the entire torrid affair they compare donor but i give you my heart if you needed it she rolled her eyes and said you're a professional he said no just a good samaritan he said that if the sex was half as good as the conversation was soon they'd be pushing strollers <laughs> Not a donor, but I'd give you my heart if you need it. Age of him, she wished she was 30 and made coffee every morning in a French press. Afterward, she only ate kids' cereal and couldn't sleep unless it was in a mother's bed. Her own age, with dartboards on the backs of their doors. She thought about how he said since she was so beyond her years she wasn't sure there's so much to process huh She 
always ends her albums with like thing that's a little age of age, a little air of like rebirth, begin again, daylight, just kind of like a, it was all for a reason. Is the manuscript. Now and then I reread the manuscript. But the story isn't mine anymore. Oh shit, that was good. But the story isn't mine anymore are the last words. Get up. Stand up. Right now. You think I'm crazy? You've been sitting here watching this reaction. Get up. Stand up. Get up. Stand up. Okay, anyways. But yes, for real though, did you not feel like you just went through like a play? A one act? Uh, just someone's story many stories oh my goodness gracious i feel like i don't even truly have the words i will have the words especially as i'm editing this Re watching it back hearing it back it's hard to like process things fully hearing it the first time but wow wow the story isn't mine anymore she said recently on her instagram or her like social media like the story isn't mine anymore it's yours for you to read like what did she say that i really really liked she was like Sometimes you just need to like speak your saddest story in order to move on. I've never felt anything more that Taylor Swift has said more than that line. Like that line, sometimes you have to speak your saddest story. Mm, I love that a lot. Guys, it's been a journey. <laughs> it's been a trek. It's been uh, just a fun time, honestly. This has been wild. It's been so fun to see the whole internet come alive. A life? Alive? I don't know. I need to eat food. I haven't really eaten today. <laughs> I have, but like, I really actually haven't. I have dinner's downstairs. Matt's about to get here. Oh my goodness. I just have so many thoughts. I don't know where to put them. Get ready and release a double album. Ha ha ha. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Guys, thank you. If you're ser seriously sitting here listening to my dumb jokes, thank you. Comment down below if you did make it here, because this is gonna be a long reaction. This, I feel like this anthology is longer than the first one. Maybe it's not, maybe it's the exact same, but like, well, 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 well. <sighs> Guys, more thoughts from Lauren's brain to come when she's slept, when she's showered, and when she's eaten. Um, lots more content on the Tortured Poets department coming your way. I wanna know your thoughts. Is the world going to suffer from Taylor burnout? Are we over it? I'm not over it. I am, I'm over it for today, for the next day or so. I'm very excited to turn the camera off and like look at something else, but it's like, I feel like that's when I, I come back to it and like the words will have more meaning and all of that and I'm rambling at this point. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for just reaching out to me whenever you think of Taylor Swift things. There's like a lot of you that are like, it's not a Taylor Swift release week unless I'm looking at Lauren's stuff and just like what she's got going on. And I love that. I love that we all get to do this together. It does really feel like we're hanging out. I really hope that you guys are enjoying these reactions of mine. I enjoy doing, I enjoy filming them. I think I just gotta figure out a better system for editing and getting it up. I think I'm gonna figure that out though. I've got plans, I've got plans. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave it a like. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please follow me on TikTok. I'm trying to get to 5,000 followers and 10,000. It's just this stupid app that like I have to care about now. Ugh, it's very frustrating. It's kind of fun, but it's also like a little cray cray. It really is. Um, I do post daily on Instagram. That's usually where I'm posting my day to day, minute to minute thoughts when Taylor's posting crazy things or just things about me, my life with Matt and Chester in LA, living it up. You girls gotta go to bed. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We did it. I can now officially release the hounds and see what everyone's saying on the internet. It's gonna be fun. I will see you on the internet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>